Arthur. How you doing? Nervous? But I've been nervous for a while. I had a lot of time to think in that jail, and I feel like I just don't know Dutch no more. You ain't the only one. And this plan to get us out, it just feels... I don't know. Like he's stringing us along, I know. Killing in cold blood, revenge. We all do bad things, but he seems to enjoy it now. It's like he just wants to create more enemies, more chaos. Yeah, I know. I mean, I love Dutch. He saved me a long time ago. I feel like in Saint Denis, when I got arrested, maybe he could have done something. I feel like you should take your woman and child and get lost. Do you? What reason you got to stick around at this point? It's done. I don't see no way out of any of this. What about loyalty? That's long been broken. But what are you gonna do? I gotta see this through. Try and make some of it right. There was a code we had. Gotta still mean something. Sure. I know, but... Listen to me. When the time comes, you gotta run and don't look back. This is over. And now? Now we gotta help Dutch give the army one final tweak on its nose. <laughs> yeah, come on. Help me with the rest of this. <sighs> well, it looks like we finally found our calling in life. Ride this thing out onto the bridge. There's a spot about a third of the way across where we can get down underneath to plant the charges. I've already set up the detonator. Joe, sure. let's get this over with. You hear about Dutch and Cornwall? Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. More enemies, more chaos. I mean, we're about to blow up a bridge for Christ's sake. <clears throat> Stop. Here's good. <sighs> we sure got a lot of this stuff. We'll need it. I'll climb down there. You lower the crates. All right. Let me know when you're ready. Got it. Ready when you are. I'm at the bottom of the ladder here to your left. There's good. Lower it down. Man, what are we doing? Oh. Okay, start lowering it down. All right, take it slow. That's not something we want to drop. That's it. Nearly. Okay, good. Grab the other one. Start lowering it, Arthur! Nice and easy! Got it! Alright, come down here and help me plant this stuff! Are you coming? Okay, grab yourself a bundle from the box. The bridge is wired to the detonator. We need to attach each of those bundles to the fuses. There's one on each of the main support beams. Okay. Nah, this is fire for real. Gonna blow the uh gonna blow the tracks. Oh, smoking tracks. Okay, 
I should go get the hand cart ready. You okay to finish off down here? Sure. Go on. I can handle the rest. I'll see you up there. This better work. What are you doing? Go grab another one. Ain't how I want to die. Come on. Let's go blow this thing up. I literally did that the first time, bro. Um, I think the line held. You want the honors? Sure. This old dust got all the smoke he wants. Well, let's hope so. <laughs> you really think that that'll draw attention away from us? I guess we'll see. Tell the truth, I ain't even sure I fully understand Dutch's plan with all this. Like I said, John, when the time comes, you go. What about loyalty to, to everything? You've been loyal. I've been loyal. Look what that cost. You know, all that ever mattered to me was loyalty. It was all I knew. It's all I ever believed in. Well, not anymore, John. Soon, you gotta go. Go. But don't look back. I'll think about it. You know, I've done a lot of thinking. Look at us. Out here risking our necks and for what exactly? For, for a silly idea. That don't even exist. How you mean? You know just what I mean. You need cash. You got a family. Well, I need a vacation. And Dutch has all the money for safekeeping. You know something? Abigail thinks she might know where some of that money is. Well, you tell her she better make sure. And then come talk to me. And we'll find out just who and what we should be loyal to. I, I don't know, Arthur. Nor do I. But I am starting to see things clearly now. And I ain't being taken for a fool no more. Now get out of here. <coughs> <coughs> <coughs>
That's my boy. <laughs> Hello. Here I am, as promised. Captain Monroe? Of course. The Chief's going out trying to find medications. It's quite a business. Yes. I thought we were through with all of this. Well, we are, mostly. Colonel Favors seems to think the natives have broken some promise they never made, and apparently he's punishing them by withholding vaccines sent down by the federal government. Really? I was supposed to oversee the administration of vaccines. Now I hear the wagon's been diverted. Why would he do such a thing? <sighs> to be honest, I truly don't know. They say he didn't have a very good war, so maybe he's trying to start another one. Is that what you think? I'm trying to find out, and he knows I'm trying to find out. He'd love to provoke me almost as much as he'd love to provoke these poor bastards. Meaning? <sighs> Meaning that despite the fact that I think he's a horse's ass, he knows I think that. So we're just stuck here trying to make the best of things. This is the best of things. Children dying of diseases. No. This is awful. Where is this wagon? Where can we find it? I can show you. It's supposed to be heading to a pediatric coming up through Valentine, but it's been diverted south instead. Come on, Captain Monroe. Uh, Mr. Morgan, we must act with due caution. Oh, we shall. We surely shall. Now come. Okay. I think I know a spot where we should be able to intercept it. Lead the way, Captain. Make him do that dance. There you go. There you go. So there you go. Hey. Hey. He hey. knows you're up hey. here helping these people. Yes. And no. He knows I'm here to produce a report on the situation. I was sent down from the north after all the news of unrest in the region. But I think my presence might be making things worse. What do you mean? I worry he's taking some of these actions more to protect himself now. He can incite more retaliation. Maybe he can prove a stronger defense. Well, like destroying that shrine. Yes, and taking their horses. I mean, I don't know if he personally sanctioned any of this or not. This is the other problem. There's a culture now in his regiment. The rot has traveled down the trunk. Okay. Well, just show me where to find this wagon, and I'll get the medicine for you. You don't need to be involved. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. But I must ask you, please be discreet. We really cannot afford more conflict. I'm still hoping a meeting can be arranged between Rains Falls and Colonel Favors. I understand. So I should drop the wagon back at the reservation? Oh, no. No, no, no. You only need to commandeer the vaccine. Stealing those and an army wagon will only make matters much worse. Okay. You know... Favors has many flaws, but I don't believe he's callous. More an insecure man at the end of his career, trying to cling on to something that's already gone. He fought for the Union in the war, and his record was considered far from illustrious. A failed man is often the most dangerous. All right. This is the spot I was thinking of. Let's cut up this way. Sure. There's a nice vantage point up at the top here.
Okay, let's dismount here. Best leave the horses back a bit. We'll have a good view over the road from this ledge. The wagon should come along this way. Okay. You're a good man, Mr. Morgan, but I fear this task to be a fool's errand. Well, firstly, I'm a long way from a good man. Secondly, fool's errands are my favorite kind of work. Fair enough. In that case, I can see we shall be great friends. <laughs> May I ask you a question? Of course. Why don't you just tell all the folk up in Washington what kind of an idiot Colonel Favors is and save us all a lot of bother? <laughs> uh, unfortunately, the government doesn't work quite like that. If you say so. There. I think that's the wagon. All right. Get yourself out of here. Just remember to keep it clean, understand me? Don't worry, I'm as clean as they come. All I do is clean. Well, good luck. I'll meet you back at the reservation. Try not to get yourself killed, Mr. Morgan. No, no, I, I can't promise. How do they want me to do this? Yeah. Should just go ahead and rob him like that. Make him give it up. See if something happens. The real might fall off or something. Captain Monroe, I've got the medicine. Oh, wonderful. That's great news, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, well, don't worry. It, uh, it didn't go too bad. Oh, I'll have to take your word for that. We could both swing for this. <coughs> yeah, well, I think I'm a little past caring about hanging, Monroe. Maybe. I just hope Colonel Favors thinks he was robbed by bandits and not... Oh, no, I'm still a bandit. There ain't no doubt about that. Of course. Well, I better get to work. Thank you, Mr. Morgan. Bandit or not, this was a good thing. Maybe it'll get us both killed, but it had to be done. I hope so. He said, I hope so. Hey, Jack. Jack, man. I don't like the sound of this. All I'm saying, 
Something happens, we get split up, we meet there. Oh, one Gila Dam, all right? Get up, now! All right. I'm sleeping, Arthur. Okay, uh, I'm sorry. Just a lot on my mind right now. You're interrupting my beauty rest. Josiah? I, um, I was, uh... Leaving again? Yes, just leaving. I'll see you soon. <coughs> Perhaps. Uh, what do you mean? Well, if I was you, I'd disappear too. This is all pretty much over. <laughs> well, I'll be back. No, you won't. Let's not pretend no more. Get out of here. I'll miss you, Arthur. You've been a fine friend to me. No, no let's not get over sentimental. Come on, the place is quiet. Get out of here. You go with my blessing. Thank you, Arthur. Found a friend looking for you. Mr. Morgan. Sir. How are you? A little better. I hope so. How can I help you? I am sorry to impose on you again, but I believe I have made progress brokering peace. You have? I believe so. Colonel Favors has agreed to a meeting to discuss and maybe resolve his alleged grievances and mine. Now, he has lied to me more times than I care to remember, but maybe this time... He must want peace. Why could he possibly want to humiliate us further? Well, we got words for his kind, but they're colloquial. Uh, perhaps I could make one last request. My men are not allowed to carry arms. You want us to keep the peace? Yeah, it'll be a lot of dull talking and ceremony. But I feel with some non-tribe members present, their chances of lying or worse will be reduced. Will you, Arthur? It ain't my business, brother. No, I know. But it is mine. Do it for me. Charles, I got... I've saved your life. Do it for me. <sighs> sure. Come on. You owe this man. You should have him do your negotiations. Let's go. Charles, man, I hope you stay safe, bro. For real. What? This way. I also have some men meeting me there. I wasn't sure if you'd be able to help. Thank you for doing this, both of you. You have already done so much. Ain't a problem. Just hope nobody recognizes me. I've had a few run-ins with the army recently. I wish we could have done more to control the situation. Dutch should not have gotten involved. My son has a mind of his own. Too much so, in fact. I just hope Colonel Favors can be reasoned with. I am not asking for very much, but when our people are sick and hungry, and we find our medicine and supplies are being deliberately withheld, how can we not view that as something personal? When they destroy our sacred sites, how can I convince Eagle Flies and the others that they shouldn't fight back? Maybe that's part of the reason they're doing these things. Because they want you to fight. To be able to say, look, you see how these savages behave? Perhaps. Thank you for helping Captain Monroe to retrieve those vaccines, Arthur. He will be at the meeting and is one person who knows the true situation, at least. I still have hope that we can come to an agreement.
are. There's my men up ahead. Hello. I didn't know who that was. Easy. We trust you, Kayla. Now, Kola, we chump you. Heel Paul, when you are big tail. Yeah. This way. Let's see what they're talking about. <sighs> Colonel Favors, Captain Munro, we come in peace. Hello again. Who are these two? They're uh, friends of my people. Hmm. Interesting looking fellows. Yeah, they won't cause any trouble. Well, I should hope not. Yeah. Listen, Mr. Um, Chief. Yes, uh, Mr. I can't say that silly name. In English, they call me Rain's Fall. Yes, yes, I'm mine. Uh, I'm sure they do. Listen, we're all Americans here, and we want an outcome. But quite frankly, quite frankly, I am confused. Your men are little more than criminals, in my opinion. Keep breaking peace treaties we've made, causing disturbances in everybody's lives. But I pride myself on being a gentleman. Really, I do. But there are limits. So let me be very... Are you okay, man? Someone. Jackson, take him away. Where was I? You're gentlemen with limits? Are you being facetious, sir? Come this way, buddy. I said, are you being facetious, Captain Monroe? No, sir, I am not. Chief Rains. That's, uh, <gasps> Rains' fault. Exactly. Chief Rains, the thing it's is... It's quite a cough. The federal government. Sure. Wait here. I'll fetch you some water. I'll, I'll be fine. Thank you. No, no. You know he's going to have Monroe court-martialed. Or attempt to. He's going to make a disgrace of him. Monroe? Seems likable enough for a West Pointer. Why? You know what Favors is like. Because he thinks it's right. Because he thinks Monroe is a patsy. Or a spy. He's convinced he had something to do with those vaccines getting stolen. He thinks Monroe is gonna force him into making a concession with the Indians. So he removes Monroe. But removes how? Favors wants him tried for treason and hanged. Why does Favors care about the Indians? Because he doesn't want to back down. I mean, his whole professional life. We know what they say about him. High tail Favors, the man who missed a battle. Poor Monroe. Kinda liked him. I know. Well, still, he's kinda stuck up. Your men violated the treaty. That treaty is null and void. I have been appointed to negotiate... Feeling better? Yeah. Come on. <coughs> Let's go. <coughs> the lands you currently occupy belong to the United States government. Why is this so confusing, sir? Why? Good day, Colonel Favors. Well, that was remarkably unproductive. <gasps> I'm afraid the federal government was quite clear, Colonel, that it wanted peace, and peace for all, and that the treaty had not been broken by anybody. Oh, is that so, sir? And did it want impudence, sir, from a junior officer in public? Was that its plan, too, sir? You insult me. You insult the regiment. Arrest this man. Arrest me? Gross insubordination. Disobeying an order. Treason. Are you mad? You had those vaccines stolen. You disrupted a negotiation. 
Let him go. This is all getting out of hand. Hi. Captain Monroe, let's get out of here. Hi, if I, I were you, I'd keep my mouth shut, amigo. I don't want to kill this man, but you shall. Son of a bitch. Charles, Captain Monroe, mount up now. We're getting out of here. You already know what time, time it is. Come on. Don't be dumb. Get off me. Just let him go, okay? Open fire on you. <laughs> Gave his horse a, a direct heady. Oh! Get out of here, boy. Charles. 
What do we do now? Girl said he was you hit. get out of here. Fast. Take you to the station. I can't believe that just happened. I've been an army man my whole life. I heard them talking. They was gonna have you hang for treason. You can't die for those fools. And what about the chief? Can't worry about that now. I... Guess I won't be submitting my report. I wouldn't think so. Captain Monroe. I fear it may be Mr. Monroe from now on. I'm sorry about your career. Here. Here's some money. You take it and get out of here and start a new life somewhere. I hear Tahiti's nice. Thank you. Just hop on a train to San Denis, jump on a boat, but avoid Guam. Where? Forget about it. Meet you back at camp. Reverend? Reverend. What are you doing here? Uh, I'm leaving. Running away? Yeah, I suppose so. I'm... I'm running away. I, I tried to make Dutch see sense, but he's very strange recently. And the women? Little Jack? You're leaving? I told them to run, too. I asked them to come with me, and they wouldn't. I've changed. I'm a changed man, Arthur. I won't die over some... Nonsense, spouted by a fool. I ain't changed. I'm still a bad man. Maybe your path isn't changing, Arthur. My path is coming to an end, Reverend. I know, son. I know. And I know that you will face your destiny like a man, like a warrior. Because that's what you are. That's all I am. A fighter. A killer. And a uh, crazy man. So be it. You lived your way. You'll die your way. But in the time that you have left, don't compromise. And you'll do everything that you have to do just fine. We'll see. <clears throat> I don't have to see. I know you. Fight and keep fighting. Okay. Good luck out there. Be true to yourself, Mr. Morgan. And leave the lies and the hypocrisy to fools like me.